Joining us now from Las Vegas, Nevada is Mr. Mark Bradley. Mark is the CEO of a company called Players Network. Mark, great to see you again. Hey, it's good to see you too, Don. A different location in the studio. You got the home studio, and we have uh, wherever we are right now, uh, avoiding the uh, the COVID here. You're absolutely right. Now it's been a while since we last spoke to you. Why don't you bring us up to date on the company? Yeah. So look at this is a big transition year for us. Uh, a lot of the cannabis companies got hit really bad this year, um, mainly because, um, at least in Vegas, the lack of customers and the lack of travel and the lack of being shut down in, in the workplace. So we kind of slowed down a little bit, um, but we're really putting our focus on revamping the company in many ways to have a uh, competitive advantage in the marketplace, um, at least here in Nevada. So we've been restructuring things, retooling things, and uh, got some exciting news for shareholders that I think people will be pleased. Well, tell us about it, because it's been really exciting watching your company over the years. Yeah, so, you know, so we first had to get ourselves current. Uh, so we, we did a, something very temporary. We uh, actually halted our own stock. We conditionally pulled our registration until roughly mid-February when we get all of our filings current. Once they become current, we're going to start trading again. But we're taking this time to kind of begin up the debt in the company, um, kind of refocus our business plan and our business structure. Now that the cannabis industry has evolved a little bit, um, we really want to find out what can differentiate us than other companies out there. So really putting our focus on extractions, concentrates, um, edibles, and really utilizing our production license because there's only about 22 production licenses in the state compared to about 130-ish cultivation licenses. So we're really kind of taking a different approach to our market right now. Now you're in your facility right now. Tell us about that because it looks pretty impressive. Yeah, why well, uh, the backdrop behind us is our brand new little toy. Uh, it's a uh, C1D1. It's a bomb-proof room that allows us to do very high level extraction and create uh, oils out of it. Um, we just recently purchased this. Um, the, the room's very uh, complex because air has to flow all the time. There's safety limitations in there, there's spark proof, and it's gonna be filled with uh, next week, a bunch of equipment. We partnered with a company out of uh, Colorado called Cushmasters, who won 16 awards in producing extracts um, and oils and different waxes and butters and things are yeah, not market in our case or in, currently in Colorado. So our really our plan moving forward, in addition to having a great cultivation facility, is really to be one of the leaders in creating extracts um, in, in Nevada. And I think that'll differentiate us. So this room behind me is the first kind of uh, entree we're going to be hopefully um, utilizing it within the next 10 days or so as soon as the state does all our sign-offs. Well, that represents a significant investment that not a lot of companies can actually undertake. Oh yeah, between the, uh, the between the room and the equipment going in there, there's about five fifty to six hundred thousand dollars that's in there. Uh, the we should actually make it back fairly quick. We have a strategy and some partnerships that's going to supply us with the necessary raw materials that we need to create the oils, and we'll be making some announcements early in January who those partners are with, and uh, I think. Uh, People are going to be surprised. We're doing some pretty incredible things. Um, 2021 ought to be a very profitable year for the company. Now, you mentioned you're, going to, you're working and becoming current uh, by mid-February. A lot of people don't realize how voluminous of a paperwork that involves. Yeah, so look, we, we, we fell behind. Uh, there's no real excuses except we just had the wrong people. Um, working on our financials. We were so good for reporting for 28 years. And um, we decided really to, to notch up the quality of the people within our company. We hired on a consulting firm out of uh, Arizona called uh, Eventus. And they work as a contract CFO as well as handle all of our compliance, um, our, our filings, our Qs, our Ks, our bookkeeping, our accounting. And really what we're doing is taking it up to another level, really automate automating everything. So we're getting rid of as much paper as we can and the old way of doing things and really getting our reporting so at any given second we can pull a report and we can go through audits, really streamline the company. 
So for, you know, before we really start having a lot of revenue coming in and a lot of complex accounting, we're getting things cleaned up right now. And I think our shareholders are going to be extremely pleased at, um, at what the company is going to do this year. I think we're going to perform in 2021, um, you know, very, very top of our game. Well, I think everyone's going to be happy to have 2020 in their rear view mirror. What would you say was the biggest challenge for you? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Vegas shut down and that was about 80% of the market. Uh, we were hoping earlier this year to win a court case to um, class action court, suit, court case against the state, 27 of us to get a dispensary license. Uh, the state isn't fair. They're, they give the same licenses to the same uh, or appeal to uh, the Supreme Court. So if we end up getting a license, which we have a, a fair chance because they're already scheduling uh, um, negotiation settlement meetings. So if we end up with a, a license on top of our strategy of being one of the leaders of trading extraction and uh, production products, um, we're gonna be a very good company to uh, invest in. Uh, when I compare our capacity right now and our upside to other public companies in the Nevada space. Uh, these other companies have got market caps 15 to 50 times higher than ours, and they're really overvalued and we're undervalued. So when we start trading and we have all this momentum behind us, we're gonna be a really good opportunity for investors to get a piece of uh, this company, especially you know where we believe the stock price is gonna open back up and which will be you know around a penny. So we believe that people are gonna have nothing but an upside with us and um, then there's things happening in legislative uh, legislators right now with hopefully um, decriminalizing um, cannabis that'll help us a lot as well with some of our banking and the ability to deal with money so this will be an interesting year a lot happening for the players network and greenleaf farms once again players network mark bradley always a pleasure having you in the program congratulations look forward Thank to you. more success in the future I appreciate it and happy new year and happy holidays to you and all your, uh, your audience out there.